the many blessings the heavens have showered upon Israel, abundant water is not one of them. The book of Deuteronomy tells us, The land is a land of hills and valleys, and drinketh water as the rain of heaven cometh down. But the rain does not always come down, and even when it does, it is seasonal, concentrated between November and March, which makes it crucial to capture and store rainwater and develop alternative water sources for both the dry seasons and the drought years. Several consecutive years of below average rainfall, compounded by the increasing water consumption of Israel's rapidly growing population, recently brought the water shortage to the danger point. These are the facts. Almost 400,000 immigrants have arrived in the past two years, and similar numbers are expected throughout the coming few years. Annual rainfall in Israel averages 6 billion cubic meters of water, concentrated in the northern part of the country. But most of this water is lost through evaporation in Israel's intense heat and through runoff to the sea. This leaves an annual average of only 1.7 billion cubic meters for domestic, agricultural, and industrial needs, and considerably less than this in drought years. Yet national water consumption requirements approach 2 billion cubic meters annually. To date, the deficit has been covered in three ways. By capturing runoff floodwaters in storage reservoirs. By purifying and recycling sewage water for irrigation. And by overpumping of fresh water sources. But overpumping is a very risky business. Last summer, the Sea of Galilee, Israel's principal reservoir, which supplies water southwards to most areas via the national water carrier, dropped to an all-time low. So did Israel's two main underground reservoirs, the mountain aquifer and the coastal plain aquifer. Any further depletion would have risked irreparable damage by seawater and saline spring infiltration. So emergency measures were instituted to cut consumption drastically. The agricultural sector, Israel's largest water consumer, using 1.2 billion cubic meters, or 67% of the total available each year, has been hit the hardest. Its quotas have been slashed by over 60% in the last two years. Former Chief of Staff Rafael Eitan, now Israel's Minister of Agriculture, is himself a farmer at the Jezreel Valley Moshav of Tel Adashim. So acute is Israel's water shortage that the government must act immediately to save the agricultural sector from total collapse. But the ongoing national implications are even more awesome. Over the past 20 years, domestic water consumption has been growing by almost 4% annually, mainly because of population growth. If this rate of increase continues, in 34 years' time, the residential sector alone will be consuming all currently available water, leaving none for either industry or agriculture. Steep price hikes have been introduced to radically curtail domestic consumption, but raising prices and cutting quotas cannot in themselves solve the problem. New water sources must be developed to meet the country's urgent needs. The Jewish National Fund is an active partner in all our efforts in this field, which include the construction of reservoirs and dams and seasonal riverbeds. Such cooperation is extremely gratifying, and today we are discussing a number of projects which, to my mind, world Jewry can readily adopt. The development of water resources is urgent and rewarding for both those who will benefit from it directly and those who will help it come to pass. In close cooperation with the government of Israel, JNF has over the past 10 years built dams, reservoirs, and purification pools to collect and utilize surplus waters from natural springs, urban sewage, and winter floods.
המאגר הזה, דרך אגב, הוא דוגמה מצוינת, זה מאגר דלטון. This reservoir at Dalton is an excellent example, for it is crucial to the entire region. Though everything around here looks lush and green, all the Moshevim in the area suffered tremendously from a shortage of water during the summer months. A year and a half ago, they came rushing to us to expand this reservoir urgently. You know what? If we had a hundred more reservoirs like this one, the whole country would look different. Though hot and arid, the Beit Sha'an Valley has plenty of natural springs, some of which are not fully exploited during the winter months. Together with the Regional Council and the National Water Board, JNF has already completed two reservoirs here, with a storage capacity of 5 million cubic meters of water. Reshafim became operative in September 1989, Shifa in December 1990. Both are also fish ponds, serving a steadily growing food industry. Further south, the Yavne and Kedma reservoirs are designed to collect sewage waters for purification from the greater Tel Aviv, Ashkelon and Ashdod areas. In Eilat, Israel's southernmost city, JNF helped build yet another sewage purification plant. These recycled wastewaters are used for irrigation. There is an urgent need for more such reservoirs to recycle at least 100 million cubic meters of additional sewage water throughout the country. Such reservoirs also play a critical role in protecting the environment. Israel's south poses particular problems, comprising some 60% of the country's total land area, the Arava and the Negev combine into a vast expanse of desert. Here, the annual rainfall averages only between 30 and 250 millimeters. Nevertheless, because of the impermeable less soil, even sparse winter rains often result in flash floods, causing extensive damage. These flash floods have been particularly severe in many regions of the country this winter, one of the rainiest on record after a succession of drought years. But the blessing is mixed. Just as the long-awaited rains are helping to alleviate the cumulative water deficit, so the resulting floods are causing heavy damage to farms and roads, and even taking their toll in human life. To minimize this suffering and waste, many more dams and reservoirs are required to control the floods and store their precious waters. such as this dam completed recently at Nachal Hayun in the Arava south of the Dead Sea. And this reservoir at Adoraim, which became operative just before this winter's first rains. Six new reservoirs are planned for the Beit Sha'an Valley, and feasibility studies have now been completed for the construction of a network of dams and reservoirs along the Nachal Basor drainage basin in the northwestern Negev, the country's third largest water course during the rainy season. Fed by streams ranging over some three and a half million dunams of desert land, Nachal Basor's riverbed carries as much as 80 million cubic meters of water in winter. Of this, only two million cubic meters are currently saved. With JNF's help, much of this unused water potential can be tapped. Thus, even though Israel is now receiving the rain of the land in its season, it will be able to harvest this rain more fully, to reap its blessings all year round, and for generations to come.